bringing up flat nipples. Okay. So that was my experience with my first one. It was just like a last ditch effort of the hospital lactation consultant was like, I don't know, you could like try a nipple shield. Yeah. And I was like, I've never heard of this before. My mom like went to CVS and bought one. And actually we did for the first week or two. Yeah. And then eventually he didn't need it anymore. But yeah. there was not much support around that. And then I've read some people are like, don't ever use it because it doesn't build your supply. And like, so yeah. I'm curious about your thoughts on that. So I use nipple shields a lot. Um, I have all this, they're sized. I don't know if you knew that. Nope. They come in various sizes and shapes and textures. Technically, we cannot use a nipple shield until your milk is transitioning. So mm. you cannot feed with colostrum on a nipple shield. Got it. So yep. most likely in the hospital, you should not be handed one unless you're there a really long time. It's kind right. of like trying to suck like honey through those like teeny tiny coffee stirs. Like yeah. it doesn't work. That makes um, sense. So usually I'm the one to hand them out at that point. Um, I do love nipple shields. They work. It is never a forever intervention. It's a stopgap. It's like a pair of crutches. And then we're taking it away. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's the difference between like getting going that first week. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And not. And I was so thankful for it. Yeah. 